Hi and welcome. Last few lessons I've been looking at headline type text. What we're going to look at right now is working with big paragraphs of text. What I have added into this page is two paragraphs of text. Now I've used something called lorem ipsum, which is sort of auto-generated text, just that will fill up an area. It's kind of useful if you're doing like a preview of like a, a website or a magazine and you don't have the text that will actually go there, but you need a, something to fill in, you can use Lauren Ripson. So here is the text and it looks fine. I've made it aerial, 48 point. It looks about right in that term. But I want to tweak it a little bit. And I can do this by going up to here. See, we've got the little A. And adjusting some of the fine tuning here. Now, as you can see, this looks a little bit complicated. Uh, so if you want to do this one, uh, be a bit careful. What you can do is do things like make things bolder. Put them into italics. Uh, make it all capitals, make it uh, small caps, put it in superscript, all these nice little things in here. Uh, the thing I'm going to be looking at at the moment is something called leading. You can see this one up here, which is said auto, gives me a bunch of options. If I put it down something like six, you can see it's crammed all the text together. We're using 48 point text, so if I select 48 again, it'll put it back to normal. But if, say if I drop it down to 36, you can see how it pushes the text together. Letting is basically the spaces between the lines of text. If we have this text here, but we want to make it maybe fill up a bit more space, look a bit more readable, what we can do is increase that letting a little bit. So if I put it up to 60, or let's even say push it up to 72, you can see it's pushed the lines away from each other. Now this can be uh, a little bit nicer to read with some text. And so we can do that. You can also see, because the box for the text goes right up to the edge, it doesn't look so good because the text is very much pressing right up against the edge. Well, what we can do is if you switch over to paragraph here, you notice it gives you a couple more options. The first few options are just the same as you would have up here, where the justification left, center, right. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that, but if you see here and here, this is giving you some padding. So if I put in 70 here and 70 here, what you can see is it's pushed the text in from the sides. This is a really nice way of uh, organizing your text and making sure it looks neat on the paper. The last thing I'm going to do is actually, whoops, ignore that one, is uh, go in here, I select all this text, and I'm actually going to go over to this, which is the justification. What that tries to do is it tries to spread the text out. So it takes the even amount of space on each of the lines. Uh, you notice here, it puts all the lines on one side. Here, it puts them to the center, but as you go down each line, each line doesn't start the same area. But if I click here, it now it does line things up. This is a nice way to have... Uh, attractive looking text in any uh, product you're going to have. So that is the character and paragraph settings. I would say that I wouldn't muck around with those until you feel confident using the rest of the text tools, but those are there if you need them. Thank you.